guys. Good morning. Um, right now I'm working on my day, what is it, day five of the 100 day swatch challenge. And the one that I chose is one I showed you last night. Four, five, six, hold on. Six. Uh, seven. Eight. Nine. And if I leave off of it any other number, I won't remember where I'm at. And I really don't want to count. Okay. Um, I'm doing, yes, I know, the zigzags, um, the, what is it? The zigzag, yeah, the zigzag swag stitch. That's why I couldn't remember it. It's that one right there. And it's, it's really neat. And like I said yesterday, this one I'm doing, I chose this one because of the way that the uh, ravine zigzags up and down, up through the, zigzags up through the, between the hills. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. And what I, I love about having knit stitch dictionaries is that, um, it lets you know the type of yarn to use. Like this one is, says, uh, light fingering to bulky. So those are your best yarns to use this for. And then it talks to you about it. I'll read to you this one part. Slip stitches give the zigzag pattern real impact while keeping it simple. Keeping the slipped strands even is important, but otherwise it is a quick, fun pattern that makes a great overall fabric. To emphasize the strands, a smooth yarn will work best, but try it in different weights for interesting effects. And I, I love that part. And then down here you get, for people who like to work with charts, you get the charts uh, as well. And yesterday's, when I was doing the ladder rib, it was the same way. It was good for lightweight uh, or light fingering to bulky. And there's just something about knowing that that's really nice. And so anyway, so that's what I'm working on this morning while I'm watching the sun disappeared again. It was shining beautiful just a few minutes ago, and now the clouds have moved in. So this is going to be an interesting day. Uh, but anyway, so I wanted to um, uh, let you see what was going on and give you a special treat, which is coming up right now. Is that cool or what? I can't believe it. I was in the kitchen and I, I looked out and I just happened to see that and it was like, oh my gosh, got to get it on, got to get it for you guys, got to get it for you guys. So I grabbed the camera, ran out, and caught them as they were going across. So that was really neat. Uh, but anyway, so hope y'all have a great weekend. Uh, some really fun ones coming up. I'll finally have the uh, ravine trip done up for you guys for Sunday or maybe even later today. But anyways, I will catch you guys later. Happy knitting, happy crocheting, and a great weekend. And, oh, sorry, in a frail looking pearl. See ya.